This is the Chapter 7 Products Exam number 7. We have a ceiling fan of radius 1.1 meters, makes 9.3 rotations per second, and I want to find the tangential speed of the bug that's clinging to the tip of one of the blades. So I made a picture, and I know it looks horrible, but believe it or not, this is the third time I've tried this video already, um, because apparently I can't draw a ceiling fan. So this is the ceiling fan like mounted to the ceiling and here's the blades. Just ignore it, please. All you really need to know is what we have here is a a thing that is at a radius of 1.1 meters um on a, and then it's rotating 9.3 rotations per second. That that that's all that matters, okay? That's all that matters. My stupid drawing doesn't really matter. And I want to know the tangential velocity v. Okay. Well, I'm going to start here. I know that V equals omega times, oops, no, not times T. Wow, having problems, times R. This is the correct equation. I'm on autopilot. Um, so I already know R. That's great. And hey, 9.3 rotations per second. Why can't I just put it there? Well, here's the problem. I need omega to be in units of radians per second in order to be able to use this equation. So I got to go make a conversion first. So right now what I have for omega is 9.3 rotations per second. I need this to be in radians. So I'm going to multiply by there's 2 pi radians per rotation that cancels these out and what I get is that omega really, for useful um, units, is 18.6 pi radians per second. Now that I can use. So I'm going to come back over here and use that. 18.6 pi radians per second times 1.1 meters that gives me a V of uh, 20.46 pi meters per second or if you don't want to leave pi in there I'm just going to type times pi on my calculator uh, 64.3 meters per second I would accept both answers you can leave pi in or not however be careful if you're leaving pi in a mistake that I've seen a lot of people do is they leave pi in all the way up to the end and then they just drop the pi. It's just gone. They write 20.46 meters per second. And that's not the right answer, so you would lose that point. 